Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Ryan FB131, and today I will be reviewing my close up G3 deck. Alright, so first, really deep concave as you can see. Uh, low kicks. It does have the dip though. I forget what that's called right now. I just said in my last video. But whatever. Uh, it has dips just like a Berlin Wood. The only problem is. This board, it's not really wide, and if you have big fingers, it'll be hard, but, yeah, it's not wide, but it's pretty cool, because they give you a deck, uh, polyurethane, metal core wheels, and rip tape. They give you rip tape and grip tape. They both have the skull hand on them but they wear off really easily. Well, not on the grip tape, but on the rip tape. So, yeah. Um, these boards do look really, really nice, though. Uh, I'd recommend them to more of a beginner or something. There's a pause. Uh, so, yeah, it's a five-ply deck. It goes blue, red, natural, red, natural, and then the paint. The paint does come off though, as you can see, it's starting to come off on my on the sides. I've got this deck for thirty dollars off some weird website, not Plaid Face or Black River, and it comes with its own trucks and its own Teflon bushings. But mine they ripped, so I'm just riding on Tech Deck ones because this is not my main setup. So. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool looking deck and stuff. It comes complete, so if you want a complete deck, just get it, or go to like Finger Decks or Pro Wood or something and get it nice for one. But yeah, I give it like a six. Be honest, not really not my preference. I don't like uh, deep concave and low kicks. I like medium kicks, medium concave. So yeah, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, add me whatever and if you want me to review any of your products message me and we'll work something out so it's Ryan FB131 out